Hi, my name's Harry. Um, welcome to Weldon Fabrication. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at drill hole sizes in relation to uh, tap thread sizes. Um, so, what we're going to do is really quick, basic run through of how to use uh, a Zeus book and the information in there that you can use to work out very, very quickly uh, what size drill bit you require in relation to the size of threaded hole that you're going to want to tap. So, um, what I have done is a basic enlarged version of one I found on the internet um, which shows a conversion chart on the back so you can see there on the back of the booklet there's a conversion chart uh, which gives you basic dimensions in terms of uh, so for instance one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters um, so there's a lot of information there just very very quick information that you, you can pick up straight off the back of this book um, this is the sort of thing that I certainly I've always had one as a, uh, right away from as an apprentice it was one of the first things I was told I had to buy um, really, really useful thing, and I've kept it. I mean, obviously not the same one, but I've certainly kept one in my pocket pretty much all the way through my working career. Um, so, what I want to look at specifically today, I said, was uh, thread sizes. So, if we look in uh, the Zeus book, go the other way, uh, we can see here we've got isometric coarse threads. So ISO is international standard for uh, international organisation for standardisation, um, and this gives us a chart of information. So we're going to look more specifically at um, diameter, and we're going to be looking at uh, tapping drill, and I'll just briefly touch on pitch as well in terms of what we're looking at. So on this blown up version of what we've got here, what you can see is the same chart again, slightly larger, and if we look, for instance, at a M8 or 8 mil all these measurements are in millimetres, then we can see, as we look across on this chart, we can see that little bit of information there tells us that if we look at our tapping drill, we need a 6.8 in terms of millimetre size drill bit to be able to tap and successfully have a thread for an M8 or 8mm. So what we've got here, you see we've got a, uh, we've got a M8, M8 tap. I don't know if you can see the writing on there. Um, but we've also got a, a 6.8 mil drill. So you would effectively use this drill first, drill your hole through, and then you would tap with your, your M8 tap after. One of the other things I just said in the booklet was about pitch. So you can see there on the actual pitch of the thread itself, um, the actual pitch, and it's set on this particular one um, for an 8 is at 1.25 in terms of the pitch, and you can see there that, that pitch there with the bolt, you can always offer it up and check. You can actually get a uh, um, thread gauge as well, just to check the pitch of your gate of the, the actual bolt itself to work out what size tap you require. Um, you get exactly the same. So if we said for uh, an M6, we've got an M6 M6 tap. This is a second, and what that basically means is it's got a slight fluting on the on the front edge on that leading edge. Um, so if we had a first that that taper would be a lot would be a lot steeper, um, and then with a second, it's not quite so quite so steep. But for just for tapping things like mild steel or aluminium, um, it's more than capable of tapping that straight with a, a second rather, rather than needing to use a first. Um, so again, that thread you can see there lines up nicely with the tap itself. And arguably, what size? If we look at that, we know that's an M6, which again is written on the shank what size drill bit do we need? So we can come back to the chart again and we can say, right, we've got an M6, so we can see a six over this side on the chart. We can look across and where it says, or tap and drill, then we can look there and it says five mil. So we know we need to put a five mil hole in to be able to successfully tap with, a, with an M6, okay? Um, so there are lots of other bits of information that are useful in this book. And what I would say is there, I don't believe Zeus actually currently have an online uh, uh, on the Play Store, like a, a, an app for your phone. So you can't get a conversion app made by Zeus in terms of the Zeus book. But however, you can, there's loads of other programs that you can download that can do conversions in terms of drill to tap sizes. And even when the basic stuff that I'll always keep in my toolbox, a rule um, that we're gonna be using for basic measuring on the back of that rule, you can see very clearly, we've got this conversion, so one inch, 25.4 and so on in terms of our measurements going along and as we come down we've got down the bottom here it says tap to drill sizes in millimeters 
Okay, and you can see M1, M2, or M1.2, shall I say, more specifically, up to M5, and so on, and M6, M7. So then it gives you, next to it, M6, it says there, 5 mil. So you can see straight away there's a basic conversion just for drill bits on the back of a rule. In addition to that, you've got WW, which is Whitworth, um, and there's some conversions there in terms of Whitworth to equivalency in terms of millimetres, and what you might do a conversion on in terms of metric taps as well. Okay. Thank you very much for watching the video.